we begin this morning with new details of a disturbed young man's rampage in Isla Vista, California. The horror story of mass murder in Santa Barbara, California dominates the news. A mad gunman kills six innocent people and shatters the lives of family and friends. I talked to him about 45 minutes before he died. <laughs> E.T. talked with Richard Martinez, whose son Chris was innocently shot and killed inside the Isla Vista Deli. Newly released surveillance video shows the terrifying moments inside the shop when Rogers committed the evil act. He was really loved by a lot of people. I'm still in shock. Like, I, I still don't believe it, but I know it's true. Jeff Dolphin was Chris's former roommate and friend. I heard about what happened in Ivy Deli but I didn't know that it was Chris. And I walked by it this morning, saw the bullet holes in the glass, and was just blown away by that. The killing spree by Elliot Rogers was random and premeditated. Down the street, bullets started flying into Pizza My Heart. One of the fragments ricocheted and landed by my feet, and I turned around and finally saw the rest of the store, ducked, covered, gone, and realized that this was for real. Anyone uh, own this car? Four were reportedly injured by Roger's car. E.T. was there as sheriff's officers launched the investigation. This man literally dodged a bullet. Just jumped off my skateboard and ran a hit right here behind this. And then I guess the guy was trying to get me because he shot the car too. Tomorrow is the day of retribution. The day in which I will have my revenge. This is the killer. He made 21 of these chilling selfies that are now under investigation. We'll finally see that I am, in truth, the superior one. The family attorney claims his parents told authorities about their son's videos weeks ago. He also said Rogers was in multiple therapies. As investigators try to figure out why, grieving family and friends try to figure out what's next. Well, the tough thing is, after all the attention dies down, they're just back in their normal world. At the vigil, E.T. got insight from David Kessler, a leading authority on grief and author of You Can Heal Your Heart. We don't get over grief. We don't recover from it. We're going to live with these losses. They're going to remember uh, their fellow students for the rest of their lives. I dress nice. I have a nice car, a BMW. These, these sunglasses here were $300. Giorgio Armani. I don't know why you girls are so repulsed by me. It doesn't make sense. Going inside the mind of the killer shows the 22-year-old had delusions of Hollywood. He had money and a luxury car, but the attention and lifestyle he wanted seemed just out of reach. Such an injustice. I don't know why you girls hate me so much. His videos reveal two very different personalities, some happy with him singing and dancing in his car, others eerily detached and dark. I was enjoying such a nice view until they came and sat down and started kissing. All those popular kids who live such lives of hedonistic pleasure while I've had to rot in loneliness for all these years. He claims his mom dated George Lucas before marrying his dad. His parents divorced when he was seven. And that's Elliot in 2012 when he went with his dad, Peter Roger, a second unit director on The Hunger Games and his stepmom to the premiere. Very exciting. Yeah, it's my wife's smile. But his dad's remarriage caused turmoil. Elliot lived with his mom and, for the first time, in an apartment. In his 137-page manifesto, he ranted about the more modest home, calling it poor and low class, and saying, I was a bit embarrassed. Because of it, he stopped seeing his friends. You denied me a happy life. And in turn, I will deny all of you life. <laughs> it's only fair. Tomorrow, more on the breaking point and how violent video games may have pushed this killer to the brink.